Welcome to another SSD update on NCIX Tech Tips. Today's update will pretty much bring us completely up to date on the SSD situation right now, at least on the high performance end of things. And that is the purpose of an update, to bring you guys all up to date. The star of the show this week, is the Samsung 840 series, which is the 840 Pro and the 840 non-Pro. These are two slightly different SSDs. So the 840 Pro uses two bit per cell MLC flash, like pretty much everything else you see in front of me, the Intel 520, the OCZ Vector, the Corsair Neutron GTX, and the Plexter M5 Pro. It uses an extremely high performance three core controller designed, built, and then firmware written for it by Samsung, making actually both of these Samsung drives the only SSDs on the market where every single component is designed and manufactured by one company. And the 840 Pro also has, well, between those two things, lots of performance. Uh, as you guys are gonna see very shortly, it is an extremely high performance drive. The 840 non-Pro has a couple of things different. It has that same high-tech controller with the three-core processor. It has Samsung built NAND flash, but the unique thing about it is it uses TLC NAND, or three bit per cell MLC NAND, which gives it more storage density. However, this does make it suffer compared to its older brother, the 840 Pro, in terms of write performance. But of course, an SSD update wouldn't be complete without our usual slew of graphs painstakingly crafted by Slick himself. So we fill all the drives up at least halfway, well, no, exactly halfway, to make sure that they're not taking advantage of any kinds of performance advantages from being empty. And the ones that really stand out, the M5 Pro at around four kilobyte size files with a Q depth of four is around 200 megabytes per second. Same with the Vector, same with the Intel 520, same with the Samsung 840, and same with the 840 Pro. However, the 840 really falls away in terms of write speed once we get past that four kilobyte file size. So it maxes out around 250 megabytes per second on write. So you hit a ceiling there. That is due to the TLC flash requiring more sort of shuffling around and more effort to write to. However, the read speeds at around 550 megabytes per second are competitive with anything else here. The other thing to note is that the 840 Pro reaches its peak speeds quickly compared to the other drives once you move up in file sizes. Bigger files are easy to write quickly and efficiently compared to smaller file sizes. So only really the Plex Store M5 Pro, sort of, but it falls behind on write performance and the vector is right there in terms of reads, but again falls behind on writes, is competitive with the 840 Pro. So what we really have to find out is how this sort of how uh, half of what the 840 Pro can do write speed on the 840 affects its performance in the real world. So we ran PC Mark 7, the secondary storage suite, and found out that we had a definite winner for, well, just performance in general. Now normally, from one storage solution to another, an SSD, you might see a couple hundred point swing if there's a very large performance difference. For example, an M4, which is widely regarded as sort of a mainstream SSD these days, is only 200 points behind a Neutron GTX, which is regarded as a fairly high performance SSD. Okay, so look at it like this. The OCZ Vector gets 5392 points, and the Samsung 840 Pro gets 5532. So we are seeing over a 100 point swing away from the next closest competitor. The Plexter M5 gets around 5,400 points as well, so that makes the 840 Pro the undisputed performance king. However, it's quite expensive. And the 840 comes in around 5,264 points, putting it in line with something like a Neutron GTX, maybe a little bit lower, a little bit lower than something like a Vector, but it comes in at a very competitive price, thanks to that TLC flash that is less expensive to deliver high capacities. All drives tested here today are in their 240 to 256 gig uh, size brackets, so you might see differences if you look at either smaller or higher capacities for any of these given drives. Thank you for checking out this SSD update on NCIX Tech Tips, and as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.